we were just sitting at the shed for quite a while because there was nothing we could do till the fire got there. And, uh, and it started to impact on the town, so I knew it was coming to my place, so I hopped in the bus and come home to, to try and protect it. So out the, on the road there and watch for embers and watch this terrifying fire coming towards us. The whole kilometres of fire just coming towards you and you're thinking, how are we ever going to stop that? Uh, you could hear it, just a roar coming towards you. And then all of a sudden it turned, it went to the neighbours and they lost both their houses and all their sheds. They, they, had, they were home, but they evacuated the last minute. minute. Uh, someone went in and said, look, you've got to get out of here, they were in bed. It went round, round that way from us, and then it went round that way, and we were just sitting in the middle. I just really don't believe what, what happened, and I feel guilty about it. So, so many people have lost their houses and so forth, and we're sitting here with three houses and not touched.